right, we're in the halls of, uh, it's a, let's, let's, let's say the date first. The date is July the 15th, 2021. We're in the, the back room. Oof. Well, y'all won't see this video so much later. A lot of the stuff's gonna be on the floor, but we got a lot of projects back here. So I'm just gonna look around. We got Return of the Jedi, Narc, X-Men, Mortal Kombat 1. Just, you know, stuff that y'all haven't seen on the floor or by the time you see this video, you probably will. We're gonna focus on this Tetris right here. Y'all wanna talk about Tetris? Obviously, this is not a Tetris. This is a, a uh, tapper in Tetris clothing. Okay and it is hiding, it's hiding some cool stuff. So underneath this paint, it's hiding some uh, some tapper art there. It didn't come with a control panel, but it's got some important pieces. It's got the cup holders. It's got the, the little bar, little foot rail there. We got a control panel for it. Freaking exciting. Brand new old stock control panel here. Well, I say brand new old stock, it's a reproduction. I'll take it back, it's not new old stock, but it looks new old stock. Look at this. I'm going to use both hands. Sorry. But today is its official start to its journey. See? Put this on here. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? Man. Look at that. So we got us a control panel. We got a control panel overlay here. Check this out. Look at that. Yeah. We got us uh, over here. Oh, where's it at? Over here, we got us a, a joystick for the for the metal there. Pretty excited. And uh, so we're gonna turn this back into tapper. I don't know what kind of we got blue on the side. I don't know what kind of t art we got there. But I'm gonna send these cup holders and this foot rail off today. I'm gonna package them up, and they're gonna go off on their four to six month journey to get plated we're gonna get them gold plated you know so the brass will look real fancy when we're finished because this got a long way to go and i got so many projects anyway so this is just the start i'm gonna give you all the as far back as i can shoot in here and here we go all right i got her laughing before we started the video here this is my daughter autumn we have started hey look at that she's not been in a lot of videos she's gonna start being in them though because we're gonna be working together on some projects. We got a little time cut out every week to work on stuff. And she has decided this morning to work on what? Tapper. Ta tapper? <laughs> <laughs> this is Tetris, 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 Tapper. This is a Tetris and a Tapper cabinet. So before she came along, we started this video and I may have other footage, but if, if I do, you'll have already seen it because I'll put it in front of this one and then we'll have it. So this had a black front on it. Someone turned this tapper into Tetris and this had a black front on it and I was able to use um, some graffiti remover to get it off of there. Now, when you see this and you see it in this shape, the, the, there's two things you're scared about. One, where is all the metal? Well, I took all the metal and had it plated. So it's gonna look amazing. So it's got all the metal. So we've got that sorted out. The second thing is, where's the control panel? We got a new control panel. It's down in there, but, uh, and then I also got a new control panel down here. And that one has, is mostly populated and we're waiting on some new sticks. But today what we wanna do is we were trying, and I've already worked on this too. We were trying to get to the original artwork and what you can't really see too well is somebody, unlike this, with one layer of paint, someone put a really nasty primer layer on. And with that primer layer, Unfortunately, it's chipping away at the artwork here. We have new artwork from this old game. So what we need to do is get this down to the bare bones so we can apply new artwork. And what's really great about this is I think it's not gonna be too hard because it looks like it's just gonna peel right off. So we're gonna see where we get with this today. And uh, this will be the start of Tapris. Tetris, Tapris, Tapris? Tapper. Tapper, Tapris. So what we've discovered is the side art, even if we were able to, <laughs> even if we were able to restore it, it's really peely. Like it's coming off super, super easy. So yeah, we got that side. And this side we got off in one whole sheet. So we've got a blank canvas, fantastic. So we're peeling it off this way and seeing what we get. Hey, 
Hey, we got a big piece. <laughs> I wanted a bigger piece too. Well, what do we do? We peel. <laughs> we peel. Oh, well, the original side art. I mean, some of it was tough to get off, but some of this just fell off. So, had I cleaned all that paint off, and then this just peeled off while it was sitting out there, I'd have been upset. So, we got a nice clean side. We're gonna go in and do a little bondo work. But for the most part, this is a great example of a, you know, I wouldn't call it a survivor necessarily, but you know, as far as like, there's no water damage. So we'll go in and we're probably gonna sit, even though this feels pretty sealed, there's always gonna be some little scratches and scuffs that'll make stuff swell up when you're applying the artwork. So, but man, the progress is real. I mean, it looks like a new cabinet, you know, you got old, so whatever they put on that, I, I feel like maybe the paint or whatever they did, it made that artwork pretty heavy and it, and it made it where it came off way, <laughs> way, way too easy. So it's getting all new artwork and we have it. So that's the update. And this is like the camera rolling? Yeah. Oh, all right. So I'll just find the camera. We're gonna open this thing up for the first time. So it is an original tapper out upright, it says. Right there, obviously, it's not right. Um, so we don't really know what's in it. I ordered a a tapper harness because if it's running Tetris, then it's running JAMA, obviously, because Tetris is a JAMA board. When I got sold this, I was told that Tetris was in it. Uh, obviously, from the front, it has all the Tetris stuff but it didn't have a control panel at all. It came with a blank control panel. So what do we got? Um, well, in here, Autumn's learning about the insides of cabinets and whatnot. We got a monitor that looks like it has never been serviced. This is a 4900, which I ordered a 4900 cap kit with all those supplies. So when you're learning cap kits next week, we can do this monitor if we want to. Uh, we don't know if it works or nothing. So yeah, the cord was, this is literally the first time I've taken the screw off of it. Um, it looks like Tetris side art that was never applied. It's nice and gross. That's beautiful. We got some uh, Tetris kit installation. Remember I was telling you about a kit earlier? This is what stuff came with it. Installing your joysticks in your control panel. And some Tetris books installation kit. These are actually like quality. So that's cool. Um, and then this little bitty board here says 1988 Atari. Was Tetris in 1988? I don't know. It's Atari. <laughs> it's Atari. That's, oh, it does say Atari. I'm guessing that's the real Tetris board. It's very, very small. That's... Uh, here's an installation kit. How cool is this, though? Look, it's so funny in the picture. Um, the picture looks like a picture from... This fake quarter thing. It looks like a picture of a, an Atari System 1. Like they almost, you know, could put it in an Atari System 1. It says 1989 in here. So I'm guessing that's a Tetris board. You want to plug it in and see? Sure. What's going on with this? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, this probably went to the control panel, I'm guessing. Yeah, this went to the control panel. This wiring here, obviously the monitor. So yeah, these were the controls, which the control panel didn't come with it. So I'm glad I ordered a tapper harness because I figured if this did have tapper in it, it would be butchered pretty good. And it appears to be butchered pretty good. But uh, I mean, we can plug it in and just see what happens. It's always a fun trip. Just see if the monitor lights up. See if we got voltage. So maybe first we take it off the board and just test the, test the, so that's JAMA right there, honey. A 56 pin connector this one's been butchered to high holy hell but still we can test this without it being plugged in to anything so yeah let's plug it in see what happens let's do it this is scary <laughs> all right probably nothing's gonna happen because of this right here let's see Still nothing's gonna happen. Maybe there's a switch somewhere. 
Oh, here we go. Oh. Static. I hear static. Uh, huh. Let's test it. Here's our uh, test. Pad. I shoved it in there. That's cool. I mean, the monitor is, for all intents and purposes, it's got glow. So the monitor should work. It's very hard to see it. It'd be faint. But if the neck is glowing, the monitor should be lighting up. I mean, there's not going to be anything on it because we just unplugged the board. But let's see if we got five volts on this old, very old dusty power supply. We're probably going to want to put a new power supply in. It's got the old MCR suitcase. That's what that's called down there. Uh, I believe in my head. Uh, it's dirty and old and probably not very reliable, but um, let's see if we get five volts here. This being ground and this being five volts. So, it is. Oh, well, we don't have it on the right side. <laughs> All right, so five volts. Five point three. That's uh, uh. Is it moving or is it just me? I think it's you. I think it's me. Yeah, I'm gonna stick it a little more. Look at that. See it? Mm hmm. We got the right voltage, so let's turn it off. Did that turn it off? <laughs> I heard a slight something. A slight little something? Like a pss, 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 pss. I don't know. Let's turn it off and let's plug in our board. Alright, and let's turn this on. Board lights up. Yep. Well. Well, at least know if we have a working tapper board, we can make a different game tapper. Oh, oh, tapper, Jesus. tapper, Jesus! Uh, Holy yeah. shit! It's a working Tetris board. <laughs> Look at that! All the monitor right. needs either there's heavy burn-in or it needs a cap kit. Yeah. Wow. It's gonna need to be dusted, dude. We have a work, I mean, we have a working Tetris board and a lot of Tetris stuff. I mean, you got the... Yeah. And I mean, making a Tetris control panel on something wouldn't be that hard. People love Tetris. People do. I would put out Tetris. So, I think that monitor is still going to need a cap kit. So, hold on, let me close this door. So, I'll show you some things that'll tell you if it does. Doing one is just good maintenance anyway. So you see how one side's really dark and the other side's kind of light? Yes. So that is an indication you need a cap kit. Indication you would need a new flyback would be as if this is getting, um, what's the word? Oh, going in and out of focus over time. And then another thing would be as if it's getting lighter and darker, but this is literally like gel bar type stuff going on here. So, hey. Thumbs up, it's working. It's working! So we got a working monitor. We need our tapper harness. We need artwork. We can do a lot of the stuff to get the cabinet completely ready to go. And uh, we'll do that. Look, 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 that's what we got. Look, I didn't say all right this time. We are putting a couple coats of white paint on the sides of our tapdress. <laughs> So we're going to, uh, let me see the front is still pretty good. I don't want to take away any original art if I don't have to, but the side, like I said, we just fell off. So uh, we're wanting to put new side art on, which we have. And I put a polyurethane coat. Now I put like two coats of white paint. So hopefully we can sand it just a little bit without bringing that off and protect all the wood underneath. And then we can apply side art. Then we can apply really fun stuff, you know, right? Right now, the only thing that says tapper on this is the wood up front. But I promise you, it's going to look really, really cool. And then we got to figure out what we're going to do with Tetris. I mean, this is like, Tetris is a great game. You know, wasn't playable because it didn't have a control panel, but uh, it works. I and mean, we saw that. So you we'll know, see what we can do there. Um, yeah, fun. Got that on camera. 
<laughs> Autumn, what are we doing today? We're putting artwork on Tapper. Oh, it's true. This is the side art for Tapper. How exciting. So I painted it. Y'all saw that. And uh, now we're putting artwork on. It's got some pre-masking on. We've already laid the top. We're about to actually lay the bottom. It's not on yet. As you can see, there's the artwork underneath. So yeah, it's coming along just, you know, What's the word? Swimmingly. swimmingly. It's coming along yeah. swimmingly. So anyway, uh, yeah, so it's starting to look like a, our tapdress is starting to look like a tapper again. Filling off some pre-masking here. Is it called pre-masking? I don't know. It's like masking tape. It's so we can slide our squeegee without scratching up the artwork. So, need some fresh tapper here. Look at that, there's our bartender. He looks worried. Could be because of these rough fellows coming into the saloon. Oh, they look like they're, they mean business. Pretty great. Hey, what are we doing, Autumn? <laughs> Putting tea molding on Tapper. Yeah, we're about got the side art and the tea molding done. When you get to these edges, I like to cut these little lines. If you watched it, my tips, tricks, and starships video on tea molding, you'll see what I'm doing. But I'm just trying to get around this little corner here. There's Ryan made our video this time. Say like, hi, oh, Ryan. Yep. Oh, anyway, we're literally about to have the side art completely. The side art's done, but you know, we tuck it in to the edge. You can see right here, I'm coming around here. We try to tuck it into the edge of the T molding so when you're doing your side art, you know, it's like tucked in so it's not foldy on the edge. back to the tapper here. Uh, the sides are much darker than the front art that I uncovered. Plus there's some fading on here. And it had this plastic kick plate mounted on it from forever ago. So I just took that off. And then I noticed that just like the side art, the top art is kinda flaky. It's like super easy to peel off. So I think we are gonna go ahead and put front art on. I know I wanted to keep this, but if it's just gonna fall off once we have it out on the arcade, and I mean, look, that stuff's just peeling off like bad wallpaper. We might as well go ahead and replace it, sad as it makes me. So, let's see what happens. And now we're here. I'm gonna do some little bit of Bondo on the edge. Uh, just a hair of water down, trying to fill this lock bar hole and apply some art. There's the old art. Like I said, it just literally, I didn't have to do anything. It just peeled right off. I mean, it was, sadly it would have probably just started coming off eventually and I'd have been really upset. So I'm glad we got that front kick plate art. Uh, let's apply it and see what happens. Okay, we got the front decal on. Now the uh, colors actually match. And it went on really pretty good. I mean, it's always scary. And we had to go with a little bit more of a dry style than a wet style there, but I like it. Put this thing down on the ground here in a minute, see what it looks like. So here's our new front. It looks really nice. So, 
light a little bit. Fingers out in the way there. Yeah, that ain't bad. Here's the coin door. Cleaned up that one. Got this is what it looked like. Kind of nasty. It's hard to see there. There you go. This one's looking good. Yeah. I'm trying to get this stuff off and put some graffiti remover. I don't know what's underneath it or it's totally messed up. We'll see how it turns out. Looks like this graffiti remover is going to uh, see I can get underneath that plate there. Look at that. There's a Valley logo under there. How cool. Gotta get past this little sticker, but uh, this is gonna work. Okay, so graffiti remover. I'm gonna get rid of this little sticker here. But graffiti remover, this goof off graffiti, not that they're paying me, but goof off graffiti remover removes like spray paint. So if you have like vinyl side art, someone spray painted over it, you can use this and it's safe for the vinyl most of the time. If you use something like this, it's gonna take the vinyl right off. So just fun facts, little tips. Tips, tips, tips. But yeah, we get the sticker off. There might be a nice valley logo underneath. Okay, pre-masked. You can see our cool little valley logo poking through the mask. We're about to paint this bad boy black and get it ready to go on the front of the tapper. I think it's gonna come, come out really nice. Cynthia! Hello. <laughs> Cynthia's in the video because they're we got the coin door back on tap right here. Take this. I'm gonna see if there's a razor for it right here. We're gonna do the satisfying part here. Get some of this tape off. Whoa, look at that! It's kind of a bleed on camera. Boom. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Hold on there, B. Twenty-fives out. Dang, this thing's coming along. What do you think? It is. It looks really good. I like it. Not bad. Not a whole bad restore so far. Oh yeah. And then went from that all black one. Let's see how this turned out. All right, ready? Get a load of this. Ready. Going back to Bally Midway Gold here. What if I can get a finger on it? Look at that. Fun is our business. Looks good. I love that one. Not too shabby. What are we working on today, Autumn? The cap kit on Tapper. Yes, the ta Tapper cap kit. This is Autumn's first cap kit. It's a K4900. She's already got those, the ones with the red dots on them. She's got all those at the top left to go. And you can see right here. Exciting. All right, Autumn, back to work. Okay, we got the chassis back in. There's a little tag right there that says Autumn W3322. There's Autumn W3322. Look at her monitor. Damn. You saw earlier in the video how it was all grayed out on one side. She did her first cap kit. And uh, yeah, that looks really, really good. So Tapper or Taptress is coming along. We'll have to, I'm just impressed. This monitor came out really, really good. Super proud of her. She did great with her first uh, cap kit. So, congratulations. Yay. Yay, knocked it out of the park, yo. Good morning, good morning. All right, so, we have a new, new remake tapper control panel. I'm gonna actually bondo up these holes here. Um, 
this is all this is the way the original one looked but when you put the control panel overlay on it these can kind of get kids and you know adults alike they can push in on these on the sticker part of that control panel overlay and cause indentions and breaks I'll show you kind of what i'm talking about i have an older tapper control panel in here and i've done this in the past with some other games and i i like the results so i don't know if we can get this in the light just right uh, yeah it's hard to see but i find it i don't know if you can see that that's really tough to see but sometimes you'll you can actually hear it where that sticker is it's really tough to see. It's tough to see until someone breaks through it. So just use this one. This one's really nice, except for it's got some delaminating over here. Otherwise, I could just use this control panel. It's a pretty good shape. Buttons are a little old. We got us some new buttons though. Down there, see them red buttons. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna bondo that, and then we're gonna paint it. This one's a really nice control panel. It's a shame. It doesn't have its sticks, because I could use those waiting on some to come. Sorry for the horrible camera work and the early morning sniffiness. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing now. Uh, the contractors are working next door. Hopefully we'll have a nice big hole right there in that corner. So these videos will be all out of order, but yeah, that's a uh, progress for that. Okay, we're outside. I got a nice layer of Bondo in all those spots. I'm gonna sand that down and uh, see what it looks like. So there you go. That's what it looks like after we got the Bondo, those fill in. Had a little area there I had to hit with a different sander, but other than that, should paint up nice and then we can put the artwork on top of it. All right, so my control panel filled all the little holes. You can kind of see where they were, but as far as where, they won't be able to be pushed in and messed up. We got our new control panel overlay here. Check that bad boy out. Pretty nice. Anyway, let's see if we can get this thing on here. Okay. What was that? We're putting these cup holder things on first. Yes. So look at these. Man, you should have seen the glow coming off your face. It looked like you just pulled the Ark of the Covenant out. <laughs> <laughs> My other daughter Summer is here today. Hey, Summer. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're, we're continuing our restoration of Tapters. But after today, it should look totally like a Tapper, barring the tap handles. But uh, anyway, so we gotta stick these on first. We gotta figure out this hardware, because I took all this stuff apart months ago to get these plated, and uh, here we are, you know. Anyway, let's see what it looks like when we add all this stuff on. All I can say is, damn. Look at that. That looks sharp, man. God. I ain't gonna do this yet. Autumn had to run, so we can't put the glass on without her. But I had to dig for some bolts because once they plated these, they didn't fit perfect anymore. But I mean, that looks sharp. That looks really sharp. So I'm pretty excited about the how this is turning out. I have like one of the nicest looking tappers in the business. The right way. I don't even know what you're talking about. Hey, what are you doing up there? Taking the screws uh, off of the tapper. Okay. So, so today's the big day, huh? Yeah. What are we doing? I'm replacing the marquee and tapper. Okay, cool. Okay, you got the right torque bit now. Back on, we're back in the game. Here, give me those. All right, hang on to these little torques. Thank you, thank you. You wanna hand me the little plastic piece and then hand me your tool. And now we get to uncover this thing. I get off, see what we're dealing with here. You know what? Honestly, I don't think the light ever came on on this. So is that light out, that bulb? We should go ahead and replace that one. 
back here. It was burning already, but I can't tell. Old bulbs are old bulbs. Yeah, I'll go get a, I'll get a bulb so we can see. So, Autumn's about to learn how to replace a light bulb. So, <laughs> da da. So, <laughs> grab the middle and then twist it like that. Okay. I'll help you a little bit. And then when you see those little railings, you can pull them out. Okay. And this one had a little flicker to it, so that tells me that either A, here, and pull this one out. Either A, the bulb's bad, or B, the starter may be bad. Hopefully it's the bulb, because we're gonna replace that right now. It probably needs a new bulb anyway. That one's probably been in there since the, the uh, 80s. Hope you got it. And then you just twist it up, and it should pop on. And it didn't. How fun. <laughs> it did? You popped it on. No, no, it's not turning on. It's oh. <laughs> so that means there's a starter. Uh, there's a ballast right there, and there's a starter hiding back there. But I am not going to fiddle around until I turn it off. So let's uh, continue in a moment. OK, off camera, we have taken out this little starter because it was kind of really high. It was like back behind here. So we kind of kind of do it blind there. Um, this one's from McGuckin Hardware. You think McGuckin Hardware is still in a uh, place? Probably not. McGuckin. Maybe. McGuckin Hardware, shout out to us in the comments if you're still around. This one had an FS5. Typically, these light fixtures are FS2. If anyone knows why, all that good stuff, tell me. Uh, but anyway, we replaced the starter. I saw a flicker in the old lamp when I moved it. So here's the moment of truth. Hold that. I'll go turn it back on. Let's see if it comes on. Jenga, it was the starter the whole time. Well, now I gotta test the bulb. Hold on, I wanna see if the old bulb works. Not that we can't just leave the new bulb in it, but you know, I don't wanna throw the old one away. You would think you know, the jams are still working. Oh, it's not working good, right? <laughs> the starter's trying to, oh, hey! The starter got it working. Let's just be cool, cause this one's a little, you know, Burnout action. That should be cool. Put the new bulb in and uh, make our tapper as fresh as possible. I agree. There you go. Bulbed up. All right. You want to do the honors and put the, I'll hold this. You want to do the honors and put the new, um, scary, new, clean, fresh, beautiful <laughs> tapper. Yeah. yeah, here, you open it up. It's a glass, a brand new glass Budweiser Tapper Marquee that we got from Phoenix Arcade, I think. I've ordered it months and months and months ago. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know that I've even looked at it. You gotta be extra careful. Well, they wrapped it really good, that's for sure. Oh my God, it's like stained glass. All right. Well, you want to unwrap it? Yeah. <laughs> Scared? Yeah. Autumn doesn't want to break anything. I get it. These parts are, they suck to wait on and they're expensive and a whole bit. Why don't I use my teeth to cut them? Oh no! Honey, that's going to cause multiple dental trips. You try to keep your teeth oh. nice and pretty. Uh oh. Satisfied. Satisfaction guaranteed! You can hear it. You can hear how glass it is. You can hear how fragile it sounds. It's going tink, tink, tink. And remember, if you like content like this, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get crazy little videos all the time. And like. Like and subscribe. That's what they say, right, Autumn? Yeah. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Wow. Turn on the notification bell. Autumn, how do you feel about Valley Midway back in the 80s saying, we're going to make a video game and we're going to put a beer <laughs> in a mug right on that bad boy. Like, we ain't even going to pretend. That's awesome. You know what we should do first before we put that up there? Let's clean. Let's leave that there for a second. And clean. let's clean this off. So when we stick it all back up there, we can that way. 
it's ready to roll. But yeah, I'm excited. That's gonna look really cool. Our tapper is gonna be so nice. We have it covered up because behind those walls, we're doing paint work. I wonder if this tapper will be ready before the expansion will be ready. That would be cool if it was, but yeah. you never know. Yeah, you don't know. So we're waiting on, we're waiting on tap handles. Got these empty holes here, so it's very hard to serve a beer. The boards, we had a mishap with the boards because the wiring harness was wired wrong. I know, I totally took the blame for several days until I figured out that it wasn't my fault, which is very rare. Usually, it's definitely my fault. So, the wiring harness had one of the wires switched. It was a harness, an aftermarket harness we bought for the game because this one had been butchered out because of it being turned into Tetris. And um, anyway, long story short, the 12 volt ran through our working board set, uh, ran through the ground of our working board set, and we had to get the board set repaired. So that should be back today. None of that was on camera. Uh, I wish I would have captured it exploding in my face. The shock would have been totally worth the uh, worth it happening, I guess, on film. But uh, I was just trying to test out the board, and then it took me about three days and popping the board a couple more times to figure it out. Yeah, I mean that's that's fine for now. I mean we gotta probably etch the gum off of it from the front, but mostly this <laughs> mostly this uh, here. Let's get some gum from 1985, 86. Who knows? that off. No. no. I have to clean that off a little more there. Um, this is going to look really cool. I'll have to put the camera down to help you put it in place. So we'll make sure we don't break our new tapper glass. So we'll continue on in a moment here. Oh man, it's starting to look like tapper now. It's weird how just a marquee transforms it. Yeah, for real. Dang, I love the stained glass look of it. Me too. That's oh, so cool. You got another one? Yeah. There you go. Look how dust the top of this thing. Yeah. You got all this, we ain't even dusted the top yet. I love this though. I think this looks really, really cool. All right, so we're taking off. A little control panel that Autumn soldered. It looks so good. You did great, man. <laughs> Obviously, we're missing the handles. And now let's get the bezel on. We'll get the closest we've been. I'm kind of excited about all the Tetris stuff. I'm well, not silly, but yeah, I like. Tetris. I love Tetris, and we could make it into. We'll make a Tetris one day. Um, okay, here goes nothing. This was the tapper glass with instructions. I don't remember if the original one had like a clear part here with a cardboard instruction and they just printed it on there or if I'm imagining that wrong, but there we go. business help us out by getting us this. <laughs> but since then we've spent so much money to bring it back to bed. <laughs> I uh, tap her that it's like, well, we almost could have just bought a new one <laughs> at this point. But you know, that's kind of what it takes a little bit. Oh, uh, what's the dust inside of this thing? I think that's okay. We'll do it when we get the boards and everything. There you go. What do you think? How's that look? It looks really good. It's our old Mc MacGuckin starter. I think it looks good. It's starting to look like a real tapper. Yeah, a really nice one, actually. Mm-hmm. All right. That's probably, ooh, yeah, side view. Look at 
the, all the artwork to put on. Clean. All right, I'm turning it off. So we get the boards. Well, here we are. It's late on a Monday night and uh, I'm picking up on a video that we started probably a year and a half ago now. I don't even know. I've been working on this tapper for so long. So uh, I guess we'll see where all this is when I link this video together because now it's uh, the end of June of 2023. So I finally got all the stuff I wanted done uh, in the arcade. So I'm getting back to some older projects that we started. Uh, when you see this video, it'll be complete. So it's just gonna look like it took a long time for us to get this out. So anyway, where we're at is the, I had a wire and harness sent from Travis Reynolds and uh, it was all, it was, uh, he had swapped some wires and uh, no big deal, uh, except for it messed up the board. <laughs> we got that fixed. And now uh, we're like missing a channel of sound. Uh, and I can let you hear that uh, maybe in this video, maybe not, I don't, I don't know where I'm at, but uh the one of the things we had never got also was uh new fresh tap handles i thought we would have those by now it's been about two years two and a half years somewhere in there uh but anyway i eventually i finally got some og ones uh this last pinball festival um from our guy that runs the uh ozark mountain arcade restoration that sort of stuff so anyway that's these here so enough looking at me let's see what we got so i finally got some tap handles all right and uh these are like original so really really cool uh this is an original control panel i picked up at some point obviously it's missing tap handles um i would use it again because it's in good shape but the uh the, it's delaminating uh and i really don't know how to fix it i don't want to throw it away or mess it up or maybe i'll sell it to someone that wants an original one but i'm gonna have to take these old units off and finally get this game working. So uh, I'll do that, which it looks pretty easy. A couple of little bolts here. There's some little nuts missing, but no big deal. And uh, just solder in some wires here and here and put that on our new control panel that's just sitting there waiting. I say new, but you know, the one that's been sitting there. So anyway, that's, uh, that's where we're at. So I'm gonna go grab it. Uh, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I these little C-clips, but I got these, uh, or E-clips, or whatever y'all want to call them, it's totally fine. Uh, let's see what they say, because here's my pinball box, and I have some in here. The proper name for these are E-clip. Boom, you get these from Marcos, it's these guys, right here. And these are the right size for them. Uh, I usually keep these for stuff, uh, for pinball parts, obviously. So there you go. All right, let me go get that control panel. Well, look at that. So we got our tap handle here, tap handle here. And we got everything soldered in. And, uh, all right, let's go put it on, see what happens. See if, uh, play a little tapper. Today, we are one step closer to the over a year long saga that is Tapper. We went over to the Geek Pub and Mike warned us some ROMs. So you can just hit the one player, two player button and get right to it. Let's test it out. Let's go two player because I haven't tried that yet. Just like that. Just get this sound to not be so wonky sounding. Pour a beer, move a guy, pour a beer, move a guy, pour a beer, pour a guy. Oh, this guy wants to give a beer back. Seal, oh, you rat. I'll tell you what, get behind the bar on this. Oh my gosh, it's hard to do with my hands. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Anyway, you get the you get the gist. Pretty freaking cool. Is this the ending of the Taffer video? It just might be. It's looking great. It's sounding great. Turns out the guy bought the two uh the our guy Travis, we bought the uh, harness from, 
First time it had a mistake was the 12 volts messed up the board. Second mistake was right there. And I just didn't see it. One of those wires was just one space over. So it wasn't sending a signal to the uh, speakers. I wanna thank Mr. Mike up in Virginia for helping me out with that today. Cause, oh my gosh, I can't believe this thing is actually fully working. A great restoration that's taken way too long. But uh, we should have a tapper on the floor pretty darn soon. That's pretty good from uh, taking it when it was uh, a Tetris there. So I like it. It looks sharp. It looks really, really good. Anyway, well, if you like content like this, even projects that take way too long to finish, please like and subscribe. We will uh, continue to make really cool stuff. And uh, I'm really happy to finally get Tapper finished. Hopefully there's no more issues with it and we can have it on the floor pretty soon. So we will see you next time. And uh, if there's anything you wanna tell us in the comments, another project, something we haven't done, a video game we're missing, an arcade machine we're missing, let us know in the comments. Anyway. Thank you, and uh, I'm going to go play some Tapper.